Hello, welcome back to my channel. Again, my name is Agatha Achindu. Today we are making lentil stew. At my home, when I'm trying to save a little bit of money, the first thing that gets off my shopping list is meat product because it's a little bit too pricey. So it's not like we don't eat meat. We just reduce it, especially when I'm on the crunch. So today for protein, I'm making this delicious lentil stew. So let me heat up my olive oil and I'm going to start with about three tablespoons of olive oil, right? I already have chopped my onion, which is one onion, three carrots, celery, ginger, garlic, I have a teaspoon of smoked paprika, I have oregano, and I have cumin. And I am going to add some spinach and some cranberry, and of course, some broth. My secret sauce in here again is my onion. I am going to caramelize the onion. This is one process that I don't rush. This is going to get the sweetness out. So I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes on medium high. I don't want to rush this process. I don't want it to brown too fast. When you slow cook it, the sweetness comes out. I have been caramelizing my onion for about five minutes. I am going to add in my garlic and cook for just about a minute and then I would add my diced carrots again three carrots that I peeled and diced. My celery, four celery, washed and diced. Ginger. I am also adding a teaspoon of Paprika, smoked paprika, that's for the flavor. Oregano and cumin. I'm adding those in. And to this, I am going to add my lentil. my broth and about a third of a cup of dry cranberry. So my lentils go in. And I am going to I have six cups of broth. I'll bring this to a boil and then reduce the heat and allow it to simmer for 20 to 25 minutes until the lentils and the veggies, everything is nice and tender. 
I'll put a pinch of salt. Just about half a teaspoon. Some fresh ground black pepper. About half a teaspoon. So I have been cooking this for just about 25 minutes. I am adding my spinach, my frozen spinach in, and then I'll cook this for 15 minutes more. Listen, if you're doing this at home and it gets a little bit too dry, it's okay to add more water or broth. So I'm going to let this cook for about 15 more minutes and that will be it. You can see how amazing this looks right now. cooking for an additional 15 minutes and it is ready I am hoping that you can see the amazing mess we are going to eat this with roasted pumpkin or rice or as is or when it's cold you can add it to your salad but again if you're trying to save some money this year is full of protein so it's a good meal for the kids without meats right bon appetit come back again <laughs>